What was the craziest reason a teacher at your school got fired? In high school, FL, for pay our teacher took us canoeing. Instead of checking the weather, he brought 15 freshmen into the channel our school was on. A severe thunderstorm hit. And our teacher paddled safely back to school and left us teens in the water. We tied our canoes together and rowed back to school. But we were drenched and super late. Our teacher was just standing on the dock. Not a care in the world. He got fired like two days later. Our high school art teacher got fired after someone found an old YouTube video of him painting with his ass cheeks. We held a protest to try to keep him around. But they fired him anyway. Pablo Picasso? Threw a chair across the classroom hitting a student in the process. Semicolon. I think she was going through a divorce or something but it was talk of the town throughout the whole week. We never saw her again after that. She posted nudes on her public Facebook profile. He was caught putting a camera under the girls swimming changing room door. Year 6, grade 5. Edit. This was about 6 years ago don't know what happened to him after he was fired. Not sure if crazy or dumb. But my teacher when I was in 3rd grade got fired for selling us POC registered sign mon cards that she would confiscate from other classes during recess. She told us we could buy the cards. About dollar sign. 25. But we couldn't have them out during school hours. A professor at my college was placed on administrative leave because he was charged with participating in the Rwandan genocide. And was deported shortly after. He ended up being found not guilty. Although I think he's still in a Rwandan prison for denying that the genocide happened. Edit. To be more clear. His opinion was that the genocide was not a genocide. And that it was a civil war in which the Hutu were victimized as much as. If not more than. The Tutsi. Shop teacher got a sophomore pregnant. She quit. She was the nicest teacher in the shtiest school in my area. Taught 10th grade history. My class was particularly very bad to her though she also told me her other classes weren't great either. She was made fun of because though she was in her 30s. She had short and choppy grey hair. And her being nice all the time led to kids getting away with more than they should have. One day after a bad class. My class came in and started bullying her again. She had already clearly been crying and that day she had enough. She spent that day telling us that she has a very rare form of brain cancer. Showed us pictures of her just a few years back. With her husband and deceased child. Even then. Some of the kids in that class had no empathy and thought it poetic justice for a teacher to get cancer. That was her last day. I hugged her on the way out. I was a shy kid. Didn't really talk much. But I wish I had said more. Unfortunately she has since passed away. Other than the SX scandal with underage students that happened. My best friend got a teacher fired on accident because she was buying and selling UGR cards with students. He just so happened to say how cool it was to another teacher which led to well the not so happy ending. I was at a catholic school and one teacher got fired because he remarried after a divorce. Sent a PRN link instead of google form by email. Many students then commented on the video with a lot of great jokes. Funny times. A history teacher I had in high school gave us a lot of random documentary movie days. During which she would just sit in the back at her desk drinking tea. The year after I graduated. She had a movie day. And when the film ended she didn't get up or do anything but sit there. Eyes closed. Fearing the worst. Some students went to the office and brought an administrator down who found she was passed out drunk. They found bottles in her desk. I went to HS in the early 80s in a tiny rural Appalachian town 35 miles from the closest traffic light. We had classes that taught auto mechanics. One that taught carpentry. Had a motorcycle riding class and a rifle shooting class and classes for welding and machine shop with lathes and milling machines etc. The teacher of the machine shop got arrested for making silences for the mafia. And half the stuff he had us making as class projects on the lathes and milling machines was items he used in making them. 
A teacher called one of his students and drunk confessed his obsessive love to her, on voicemail. Dot. Promising to leave his new wife and baby for her. My kindergarten teacher picked me up by the neck and tossed me across the room. She wasn't actually fired. Just not allowed to teach kindergarten again. Instead. She taught second grade. She was my teacher that year. 2. In her defense. Odds are pretty good that I had it coming. Cussing out a student. Bet that student got an expanded vocabulary after that. A student teacher who was coaching cheer gave a girl pain meds, narcotic, without a prescription or permission from parents. She got fired. Never heard if she managed to get a teaching license after that. Edit. Just to clarify. Giving meds is usually not allowed because it's a liability issue. Everyone is perfectly allowed to bring their own pain meds that are over the counter or prescribed to them and take them but the school can't dispense them. Also the real issue here is that the pain meds were not over the counter and they were prescribed to the student teacher not the cheerleader. It's pretty uncool to give a kid opioids without permission. Not my school. But one in my general area had an entire lunch period's worth of students watch a male teacher scream at his wife, female teacher in the same school, after catching her with the janitor. In school. Our AP calculus teacher in high school had a mental break. Ranted for an entire class period about some nonsense. Then drank an entire bottle of salsa. Stormed out and never came back. They had a substitute for the rest of the semester. Which was unfortunate since the sub wasn't a calculus teacher so they were at a disadvantage for the AP test. An entire bottle of salsa? Long story short. Maybe he was just thanking her for her delicious mashed potatoes? Freshman year of HS we kept having bomb scares. About once a month we would have to evacuate while the police brought the bomb dogs to check out the place. Turns out it was one of our long term subs. She got arrested. But don't know the end result. He threw pencils at students. One day he threw a chair at a girl who annoyed him. Serious anger management issues. And then they found the child PRN on his computer at school. Rumor was that he had also been grooming one of the student aides. I haven't heard a thing about him since the year he disappeared. It was in a Catholic monastery school not even 10 years ago. My homeroom teacher prevented the suicide of a nun and got fired for it. That's literally all the info we pupils got at the time. Apparently you can't do anything right in this world. So. Lem get this straight. Diddle kids equals shuffled to new congregation diocese. Prevent a suicide equals termination? A really cool teacher of mine put on the 2016 Deadpool movie in class after some convincing from the class. Anyways. Some kid snitched, no idea who, and because the movie was rated R she was fired. She was really cool too and I felt pretty bad. The kid who snitched is an asshole. Two excellent teachers at my high school. Miss someone and Mr. something. Fell in love and moved in together and later got married. When they moved in together the Catholic high school fired her for living in sin but he got to keep his job. Our teacher was a chronic liar and lied about having a masters and a degree. Funny thing is she actually did have a relevant degree that would have got her the job. Had a history teacher show a bunch of 7th graders drunk history. The goody two shoes of the class nasty and told her mom. Who complained to the school? He was fired by the end of the week. That's the girl that asks if we need to turn in assignments right before class gets out. He left his laptop open in class while teaching and a student found child PRN on it while trying to play a prank. Cops promptly found stashes of the stuff at his house when they investigated further. Was arrested and is now in prison as far as I know. He taught students age 11-16. Organized a student choir. And was even the main teacher for some of the younger classes. This was well publicized in the local media at the time. Not just a vile nonce. But a ref kingdom one at that. My language arts teacher got caught taking the bus up to the mountain to smoke weed with the ski club. 
25 years ago at my old boys Catholic high school a priest was accused caught molesting a student. Of course this wasn't a firing offense for a priest back then, it was just hushed up. The guy was creepy as hell. Earlier this year I read about him in the paper, a fresh round of allegations. He was allowed to keep on going for another 25 freaking years. You write Catholic priest and you instantly know what it's gonna be about. A teacher at my middle school got fired because they found her picture on an adult site with no top and her number written across her chest. A male coach was having sex with one of the female students. She was under 16. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison. That is not all. A female teacher helped keep it a secret. The female teacher left the job. Spent a few days in jail but mostly went unscathed due to her cooperation in the investigation. She did lose her license. Human trafficking and 9 counts of SOL misconduct with a minor. Did it. No it was not me. Haha <laughs> you made a funny good job. And thanks dudes. This blew up more than I expected by a lot. A teacher apparently got fired for doing drugs before class a couple years after I had her. I thought it was just rumors before the principal just avoided the question after being asked about it. While not necessarily the incident that got them fired. There was a time when one of the science teachers. New for that year. Told a student that if he didn't like how they were teaching. Then he should go to the office. Full stop. Full stop. Semicolon. He got up. And started walking for the door. Semicolon. They got in front of him. And shoved him back into the room. Semicolon. A few months later. We suddenly had a different science teacher. On a Friday night. A gym teacher girls basketball coach purposefully threw a bong out of the passenger side window of his pickup truck. He was in the passenger seat. His wife was driving, causing it to smash on the hood of an on-duty sheriff in a marked Crown Victoria. Again. He meant it to smash on the hood of the cop car. He got out trying to assault the cop but was quickly subdued tased. Never saw him again after that. He was a cool guy. Edit. This was at a stoplight. Not crazy but I got a teacher fired by accident. I was in Spanish too and was almost failing. This was odd since I mainly had as B plus S. My mom also found this odd since I went to tutoring after class and asked for other help. After talking to others in my class about my performance I realized a lot of the class was doing poor. My mom called the principal and thought she was doing so anonymously however she forgot to 67 and the principal knew exactly who he was talking to. Next thing I know he visited our class unannounced and sat there the whole time not using his phone. iPad or laptop. He then came in a couple more times for 10 plus minutes. Next school year she was no longer a teacher and was moved to iPad support in our school district. This is the kicker. I had no idea our principal was fluent in Spanish he clearly realized our teacher had no idea what she was doing. Broke a kid's arm because he wasn't able to answer a question or something. He was sued and fired. Taught world religion at a private Christian high school so well that kids started opening up their minds to other worldviews. I think the parents played a big role in him getting fired. I talked about this a few days ago but she told me she didn't want me doing any practical work because she knew I was retro dead and it's not fair that I take all her attention away from the normal children. I was 14. Autistic. Grade 6. Our male teacher was apparently wrestling after hours with a girl in our class and gifting her lottery tickets. One day our principal came in. Asked the teacher to come with him. They both got in the principal's car and we never saw that teacher again. My best guess is the teacher got F King murdered. Didn't get fired. But should have. 9th grade. Room of angsty teens gets a new English teacher. MRS. Redacted. This English teacher likes three things. Jesus. Pouring pills down her autistic son's throat. And Anne Rice. During class when talking about an assignment. A couple students talked about a student who attempted suicide and the teacher had enough. She got up and explained how to properly cut your wrists to a whole class. 
What an educational experience. Edit. Ro. Thanks for the awards and upvotes. I rarely bring up this teacher but this discredit seemed the appropriate time. Also I removed the name. A maths teacher got in a fist fight with the art teacher because the maths teacher stopped the guys who were doing art from leaving his maths class to take their state exam. The exam was the junior set up practical. This was in Ireland. Edited for extra clarity and more background info. The union intervened and he got his job back. We were gathering money to go on a trip and she took the money and said that someone stole it. I have a better question. What is the worst thing that a teacher didn't get fired for? Shitting in a garbage can all year instead of a toilet. Pretty mild. But the only teacher firing at my school was because he called in sick and was seen playing golf. In my own words. One of my teachers was fired for doing s sort of things during school hours. As in looking at girls asses during track practice. Was found to be in possession of crack cocaine during a drug bust. In terms of crimes. I suppose that's not much. But there are two stoplights in my hometown. It was a big deal. When I fact checked myself before typing. I found the teacher's LinkedIn profile. And they mentioned being head of their department until they moved from the area. 1. They were literally the only teacher of their subject matter at my high school. 2. They resigned because they got busted. Not moved out of state. I aspire to be half as confident with my LinkedIn. The geometry teacher caught someone cheating on a test. So he took her test and took a bite out of it in front of her. Not NSFW but it's still bizarre. Fiddled a kid at a summer camp. He's dead now he got killed in prison 3 months in. Edit. Wow my most awarded comment is about my old gym teacher diddling and getting killed. High school. An annoying boy thought it would be funny to slap our math teacher's ass. B. A middle aged man. Immediately slapped that kid's face in return. Boy was invited to leave. Teacher was fired. He had a bag of female students hair in his desk. I still don't know what to make of it. He was one of the best and most well liked teachers and coaches. I spent a lot of time with him due to sports as did a lot of my friends and classmates and he was never inappropriate. Not once. I've never spoken to anyone who has anything but positive memories of him. Not a teacher but the school resource officer. He got caught having s relations with a freshman. Officer was like 52. Okay so she didn't get fired which was sketchy but she had two DUIs while she was a teacher. Had alcohol in her coffee cup every morning. Some kid knocked it over one day and she freaked the FCK out. She was always late. Yelled at the principal during class when he came to tell her to stop teaching and let us take our final. The list goes on and on but I liked her pretty much everyone else hated her. I'm surprised she was never fired. I had a teacher, really nice teacher, who had bad anger management issues. When he went angry he would literally flip tables. He would go berserk. Scream and flip tables left and right. Eventually he kind of disappeared. When I asked my principal about him, he said that MR. X is on leave. Never seen him again. He was really nice guy and good teacher. Too bad my classmates drove him insane. Oh circumflex oh grave oh circumflex you circumflex I acute diaresis oh circumflex oh grave copyright a acute oh circumflex oh diaresis oh circumflex oh diaresis you diaresis oh circumflex oh diaresis. Had a teacher call a student a 400 pound warbling canary. It was a sick roast but also mean and unprofessional. Obviously. My kindergarten teacher spanked someone in front of the whole class. It was the early 80s but that shti has been illegal for a while. The police knocked on the door of our French teacher's home. And he answered but naked holding a plastic trumpet. High on either crack or meth. And proclaiming to be Jesus. He somehow evaded them and started running through his neighborhood pretending to play the trumpet. Naked. And claiming to be Jesus. They finally tackled him and pepper sprayed him. At which point he proclaimed Jesus is blind. And was arrested. 
One of my college teachers also owned a business and he basically only taught a few classes every week. A few years after I graduated. He got arrested for fraud. Apparently he embezzled half a million euros, over 600. Zero 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 dollars. One. Broke a student's arm by slamming it in a door. Two. Found to have accessed kept pornography on a school computer. Three. Encouraging and facilitating media piracy. Four. Statutory rape. Five. Bullying a student because they were being bullied by other students. Six. Spending a full term not teaching a single thing to a class. Expecting them to learn from textbooks alone. All separate instances by different staff members. But all at the same school within my time there as a student. History teacher got fired for banging the music teacher on the timpani. Don't blame him. We all wanted to bang that music teacher. Had a teacher slap a kid after he kept making fun of her weight. She had gotten several weight loss surgeries in the past and was gaining it back. The kid deserved though. Total asshole and bully. But also the teacher sucked at teaching and had a mental breakdown when she got fired and trashed her classroom on the way out.